Hello everyone and welcome back to the Frame Channel. The distinguished design, ravishing red paintwork and phenomenal performance help make Ferrari one of the most recognizable and popular sports car brands in the world. Its iconic prancing horse badge is synonymous with speed, quality and style. But have you ever wondered how these vehicles are made? In this feature, we'll take a look inside Ferrari's multi-billion dollar luxury production factory in Italy. All Ferraris begin their life at the Maranello factory in the province of Modena. Crafting perfection takes time. With the average Ferrari requiring approximately three months to complete, Bespoke orders can take even longer. First, the engine is cast in the foundry before it is assembled by hand on a state-of-the-art production line. Robots are then used to attach the final valve mechanics to the engine. At that point, the heart of the machine is complete. Next, the body is constructed piece by piece as it travels down the assembly line. Machine-driven lifts help to transport the vehicle smoothly and safely, adjusting its height and positioning so that each stage of production can be carried out by the mechanics with ease. Ferrari's factory balances traditional methods with modern innovations to achieve the best possible performance for its vehicles. Ferraris come in a range of eye-catching hues, while red remains the most popular color choice, it is not the only option for our Ferrari paint job. Once a customer has chosen the color and finish they want, the frame of their car is carefully crafted. It is then given a bath to protect the metal from corrosion before the base coat is applied. This part of the painting process is completed using a combination of robot and manual labor to ensure that every nook and cranny is thoroughly coated. The layers of colored paint are then applied accurately and swiftly by flexible robotic spraying machines in just a matter of minutes. Ferrari is not the only luxury car manufacturer embracing cutting-edge technology and incorporating it into its assembly process to improve quality and efficiency. This popular German brand is also utilizing modern additive manufacturing practices to produce state-of-the-art components like pistons for its cars. Through 3D printing technology, the company is able to optimize the piston's structure and reduce its weight, creating designs that would not be possible with traditional engineering methods. This technical know-how has enabled Porsche to increase average engine speed and lower the temperature load on its vehicle's pistons. Another luxury car brand from the Volkswagen Group called Audi has also embraced technological innovations to streamline its production methods and boost efficiency. The company employs up to 1,200 robots along the production line of its Audi RS model. These machines position and add individual components, relieving humans of the repetitive aspects of the assembly process. The manufacturer has also developed the concept of modular assembly, which comprises small, separate workstations to allow greater flexibility. The process is estimated to have improved productivity by at least 20%. Of course, alongside their stylish looks, sports cars must also deliver top-notch performance. It's for this reason their engines need to be subjected to rigorous testing to ensure they make the grade and live up to customers' expectations. First of all, the engines are tested outside the car, often for many hours at a time, using machines known as test benches. These computer-assisted devices enable vehicle manufacturers to simulate the wide range of conditions in which the engine must operate without fail. 
The engine's components are then fine-tuned to deliver optimal performance based on the data gathered. Once these initial tests have been completed, the engine is installed into the car. A system known as a dynamometer, or a dyno for short, is then used to conduct further trials. Dyno testing can measure the force, torque, and power of a vehicle. The car is placed onto a rolling road, just like a treadmill in the gym, and its engine is revved up and accelerated, allowing the dyno to take precise measurements of its air-to-fuel ratio and the load resistance. Dynamometers can also calculate a vehicle's horsepower. These intricate tests allow any inefficiencies to be corrected and upgraded before a vehicle is sent to the showroom. Amid growing concerns over climate change, recent years have seen an uptick in consumer demand for more eco-friendly technologies. Driven by increased environmental awareness and reduced running costs for consumers, manufacturers such as Porsche are now developing high-performance electric vehicles, or EVs, to supplement their lineup of internal combustion models. The Taycan GTS, for example, can reach a top speed of 155 miles per hour and is capable of accelerating from 0 to 62 miles per hour in just 3.7 seconds. Figures like these are helping to dispel the old-fashioned misconception that electric means slow. The Taycan also has staying power, having set an impressive 13 endurance records around the UK's famous Brands Hatch racing circuit in 2021. Throughout the 20th century, luxury sports cars cemented their place as the ultimate status symbol. Attracted by super-fast, record-breaking speeds, such as those achieved by the Bugatti Veyron Supersport, which reached 431 miles per hour, and the Shelby Supercars Tuatara, which topped out at 509 miles per hour, luxury sports car enthusiasts continue to see more satisfaction for their money. It's hardly surprising, therefore, that forecasters are predicting a smooth road ahead for the industry. The global sports car market was valued at $31.6 billion in 2019 and is anticipated to climb as high as $56.3 billion by the year 2025. This represents an extremely healthy compound annual growth rate of over 10% during the six-year period. Market demand for eco-conscious, high-performance vehicles is also on the rise, with analysts projecting that EVs will account for one-third of global sports car sales by 2026. So whether gas or electric, it promises to be full speed ahead for luxury sports car manufacturers for the foreseeable future. A trend that will certainly birth more innovations at their multi-billion dollar factories and assembly lines. That's the end of this feature on The Frame. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel to catch us on our next video. See you next time.